third graders, I'm Mrs. Schreier and I'm a teacher at Pleasant Valley. So hello to all my Pleasant Valley friends. Today we're going to have a math lesson. This is math lesson 7.5. So if you are your house are able to print out anything for this lesson, you're going to want to print out the equivalent fraction paper. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can just use any plain notebook paper, any paper that you have. So let's go ahead and get started with our math message. Throughout the video, I will probably tell you to pause and then pick back up. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and draw your number line on your paper, and then you should pause the video while you're doing that. Great job making your number line. Now, on this number line, I would like you to add some numbers between zero and one. Go ahead and pause while you do that. Okay. okay, what numbers did you come up with that come between zero and one on your number line? Did you come up with any fractions? One that I thought of would be a half. This pen I'm using, it doesn't go as well as my Promethean board pen, so you'll have to bear with me. So a half would come in between zero and one. That's a fraction and it's a number. I like to think of it as like a candy bar. This would be zero candy bars. This would be the whole candy bar. This would just be half. Maybe some of you came up with the fraction one fourth. That's also a number that would come between zero and one. There are so many fractions that would come between zero and one, and we're gonna hear more of those today. Okay, so what I need you to do, you can go ahead and pause the video. All right, we're gonna watch a short video clip on equivalent fractions. This video can also be found on your Connect Ed site, but let's go ahead and take a look. Finding equivalent fractions. Think about how you could find a fraction that is equivalent to one-fourth. Number lines can show equivalent fractions when the holes are the same length on each number line. Think about how you can use the fraction number line poster to find equivalent fractions. First, Find the fraction one-fourth on a number line. Next, line up a straight edge vertically next to the point for this fraction. Okay, third grade friends, take a look at this. This is the number line poster, which I'm sure that you've seen before. If I take a straight edge like a ruler or even a piece of paper, and I line this up, if there are fractions that line up on that same straight edge, they are equivalent, they are equal. So I can tell from my accurate number lines that 1 fourth is equivalent to 2 eighths. Let's continue with the video. Look, does the edge line up with the point for another fraction? The side of the straight edge lines up with one-fourth and two-eighths. So the distance from zero to one-fourth on the number line is the same as the distance from zero to two-eighths. One-fourth and two-eighths are equivalent fractions. You can write one-fourth equals two-eighths. Okay, you should have in front of you the fraction number line poster paper that you printed or just a plain piece of paper. That will work just fine. What I need you to do is you're gonna have to draw a lot of number lines. So you're gonna have to pause this video many times as we go through. So just pause whenever you need and go back if you need to rehear. What I need you to do is make the first number line at the top. This is going to show one whole. So go ahead and label it zero and one. One is your whole. 
So our second number line, you are going to make halves on. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. You need to make sure that both of these number lines are the same length and these tick marks are lined up exactly, the zeros and the ones. So go ahead and do that, please. Great job. Now we're going to divide this into halves. So if I'm gonna divide it in half, how many equal parts am I going to have? Two, that's right. So go ahead and make a tick mark. This one's easy, it's right in the middle, and label it one half. And you have to bear with me, my pen is not the best. So this is showing one of two parts. So if I go back to the left, that is my zero point. That is zero of two equal parts. Zero of two equal parts, one of two, and this would be two of two equal parts. Two halves. It should be two over two, two halves. All right, go ahead and draw another accurate number line, and this time we're going to do fours. All right, now it's time to divide the next number line into fours. That means four equal parts. Please watch as I make the lines so you're able to make them accurate like I am. You're going to do one right under a half. Then that area you're going to split in half, and then you're going to split that in half as well. So let's go ahead and label them. Well, I haven't moved at all, so zero fourths. How did I know to put a four in the bottom? Because I have four equal parts. One, two, three, four. So if I move along my number line, I now am at one fourth. I think you know what comes next. Two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Great job. Go ahead and make your next number line. Okay, your next number line we are going to make into eight. So that means we're going to have to have eight equal parts to the number line. Please watch me as I do the number line and make sure your numbers get in the same spot because remember, these have to be very accurate. So I would like you to draw a line directly under two fourths, under one fourth, under three fourths. Now you're going to divide each of those little sections in half, so watch. And I need you to do the same. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and fill in. Now we said that there were eight equal parts. Let's count them to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know that my denominator is going to be an eight. And I haven't moved on the number line, so I'm at zero eights. I want you to go ahead and fill in all of your fractions. So go ahead and pause. All right, go ahead and check your work. Zero eighths, one eighth, count them with me. Two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths. Hopefully your writing is neater than mine. All right, great job on the eights. Now we are going to do thirds. Watch carefully where I put my lines and you need to do the same. Now, I'd like you to go ahead and pause and fill those numbers in for me. Check your work. Zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds. And the last one we're going to do is six. Let's go ahead and base it off of the lines that we already have. 
directly under one third, directly under two thirds, and then split those in half. Okay, six equal parts. Go ahead and pause, and I'd like you to fill in your number line. All right, check your work. Count with me, zero six, one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six six. All right, so why did we do all of this work? Because we are trying to find equivalent fractions, just like our video showed. So what you can do is take a piece of paper, grab a notebook, a ruler, and you can use that as a straight edge. So if I line these up, what does that tell me? That tells me that one third is the same as two sixths. I can also see that one fourth is the same as two eighths. They are equivalent fractions. Equivalent means equal. They are equal fractions. So if I had two candy bars and I divided the first one into fourths and I ate one fourth of the candy bar and I had another candy bar and I divided into eight pieces and I ate two eighths of the candy bar, guess what? You would eat the same amount. If you have a candy bar divided into fours and you eat one piece of it, that's one fourth. Your friend eats two eighths of a candy bar, they've eaten the same amount as you. One fourth is equivalent to two eighths. So go ahead and use your number line, your straight edge, and see if you can find some more equivalent fractions. Hopefully you were able to find some equivalent fractions. So let's take a look and um, match those up and see what are, what are equivalent fractions. One half is the same as two fourths, is the same as four eighths, and is also the same as three sixths. Did you find some more? If we go back up, one fourth is the same as two eighths, three fourths is the same as six eighths, And what about down here? Did you find any? Yes. One third is the same as two six, and two thirds is equal to four six. Great job, third grade. Hey board, you had your must do. Guess what? You got the first must do finished already. The second one is math boxes. You can do that on Connect Ed, or you can take out a piece of paper and just write your answers on the paper. And then your may do today is to play fraction memory online or do the home link online and connect it. Okay, third grade, I hope to see you next week. Bye.